Hi everybody and welcome to We Woo. Um, my name is Cathy, I'm your instructor for this session. We're going to do a 30 minute session um, and we're going to do a little bit of aerobics, we're going to do a little bit of legs and we're going to do a little bit of core at the end. You're going to need a mat if you want something soft to lie on for your core or if you haven't got a mat at home then a towel is absolutely fine or just a nice soft carpet. Make sure you've got a drink there as well because it's important to keep yourself hydrated. We're going to take a few breaks through the class, but if you're new to exercise, if you've not done anything like this for a while, stop whenever you need to. You don't have to power through. You can absolutely do it at your own level, in your own speed and in your own time. Anything that you can't do, then just adjust if you need to. And if you've got anything that is injured or hurts, then make sure you're looking after yourself. Make sure if you need to, you stop. So, Without any more further ado, we're going to get going and we're just going to start with some basic aerobics first, just to warm you up. So a nice easy step and curl, get the arms moving, pulling back and reaching forwards. So we're going to do about a minute on and then we're going to have a 15 second break. In every exercise I do, I'm going to give you options to make it a little more difficult. So as we start to get warmed up, you might want to start to make that step a little bit harder and a little bit thrusting forwards with the hips so you're getting those hips moving and then we're going to come forwards just a little walk and then go back so nice and easy does it as we add travel to the exercise that's going to increase your heart rate and that's going to burn more calories and that's going to mean you're working that little bit harder really squeeze your hips forwards and that'll make your legs stretch out that little bit more fantastic keep it going if you want to make a little bit of a change you can bring your arms out to the side and that'll stretch out those chest muscles as well okay march it out and just have a little break while i'm marching if you just want to stop that's absolutely fine you can just take it steady or you can make it really difficult for yourself and do the harder options Next exercise is going to be a tap to the side. So just tapping up, reaching up with the arm. If you don't want to reach up, you can reach down to the floor. Excellent, keep it going. You're doing really well. Fabulous job. If you find you're getting out of breath, just take a little break. But if you find it's too easy, you can take it to a full star jump. Try and land your heels. That way you're not going to make your calves ache tomorrow. But if that's too much, take it back to your tap. Fantastic, keep it going. Excellent, you should be feeling like your heart rate is lifted now. And that's what aerobics is all about. Making sure that you're getting your heart rate nice and high so that we know we're increasing our cardio endurance. Fantastic, nearly there. And march down. Brilliant work. How are we all feeling? All right? I'm starting to get a little sweaty, I'm not going to lie. Next time, we're going to do a little heel dig to the front. So, this is your next move. So, bring it in when you're ready. Just a heel dig. Now, if you want to make this harder, add a little punch to the front. So, punch it out. Excellent. You can punch it anywhere you want, so you can punch it up to the ceiling if you want to do a little more, or you can keep it to the front. Fantastic, well done. Keep it going. You're doing really well. This is exercise three of eight. So we're going to be here for a while, but if you need to stop, absolutely slow yourself down, or just take a break when you need to. Well done, nearly there. You're going to have that little break in a second and you can either march it out or you can just have a little stop. Nearly there, last few. And march it out, excellent job. Stop if you need, anytime you like. Okay, we're going to set up for the next exercise. 
So this time we're going to bounce side to side. So just a little bounce, nice and light on the toes. Again, arms moving, it means your heart rate lifts up a little bit higher. So if your arms are working as well, you're going to burn more calories, you're going to increase your heart rate, and you're going to get that cardio endurance that we're after. If you want to make this harder, try a ski jump. So side to side, feet together. And if that's too much, just go back to your bounce. Well done. How are we feeling? All right? You should be finding it a little harder to breathe now, but that's fine. That's what it's all about. Ski jump if you want more. So you're just going to pretend you're in the Olympics, Winter Olympics time, and we're skating on the ice. Swing the arms, option if you need it, leave the arms out, or just tap back. That will work just as well, we're still moving. And as long as we're moving, we're improving. I know that's really cheesy, but you know, you've got to have a, a few uh, sayings, haven't you? Keep it going guys, you're doing really well. Imagine you're racing on the ice. Who are you racing against? Your best friend? Excellent, keep it up. Nearly at the finish line. Fabulous. Take it back to the step if you need to. And try and keep those arms swinging. That way you're getting that little bit of extra effort in. Almost there. Fantastic. March towel. This is your last one in this section. Then we're going to have a nice big break, nice big drink, and then we're going to set up for the next part. 
fantastic. So your last exercise is a ladder run. So out, out, in, in. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes my coordination is not this good. So if it isn't, you can just tap to the side or you can just jog on the spot. Try and get your arms moving as well. So a little bit of shoulder roll, a little bit of a crunch forwards. Fabulous, keep it up. This is the last bit of the cardio. So the rest of it's gonna be a little bit more settled. So we just need to make that last bit of effort. Keep it going. Well done, slow it down if you need. You don't have to be racing. So last few seconds. Excellent, my feet sound like a train. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And march out, well done. Steady march, get your breath back, take your time, grab a drink if you need one. Excellent job. So, quick drink, quick break. Don't know about you, but I definitely need a drink. The next set of exercises are more static. So take a minute just to breathe. Take a minute just to steady yourself. And what we're going to do for the next set of exercises is we're gonna go with a few more leggy ones. Okay, if there's something again you can't do, just adapt it or take the options that I give you to make it easier. If you find it's too easy, take the options that I give you to make it harder. Okay, we're gonna start with a squat. And when we squat, the positioning has to be just right. So your feet are outside your hips. Your toes are slightly pointed out. Brace your core, pull your tummy button into your spine. And you sit back and down like you're gonna sit in a chair that's not there. Don't actually sit back, because there isn't a chair there and you'll fall out. But you won't, I'm sure. If you squat wider, you're gonna work the booty a little more. If you squat in, it's more in the quads and the hamstrings. So your position is completely up to you. So for this first set, we're just gonna do a steady squat. So set yourself up into the position, the position you want to squat in. Hands wherever you want them to be, here or here. And we're just gonna squat down and back. So nice steady squat. I'll show you again from the side so you can see. So foot down back, knees pushing out over your toes. Brace your core and lift your chest. So try not to bend over, because if you're bending over, you might hurt your back. And try and get just about to your knee line with your squat. So no lower, we don't want to go too low because it'll hurt your knees. So it's all about the right position in this one. Excellent, keep going. If you want to make it harder, you can go for a little pulse at the bottom and then raise up. So that little bit of extra work as you come down to the bottom will make it a little bit harder, but if that's too much, just slow it down or make it a little bit less range. You can just make the movement smaller. Fantastic. Two more. Excellent, just steady march it out. So we're doing exactly the same last time. We've got eight exercises to do all together. So nice and steady. When you get your break, you can stop or you can just have a march. Your next one is a hip rotation. Step, hip, step, step. So you're taking that hip round and you're taking the knee to the front. If you don't want to do the arms, you can just keep the arms still. If you do, opposite arm to the leg. Obviously, if it's too much, just take it a little round. You can take it a little lower. But if you can get that knee up to hip height and keep it moving. Fabulous. How are we feeling? We're going to have legs of steel by the end of this. That's what it's all about. And again, if it gets too much, take a break. Just a few more. And marched out. Well done. Excellent. Two of eight. 
that's where we are. I always like to know how many I've got, because then I know how much time I've got left. And then I can see the end inside. Sometimes it's a little bit like that, isn't it? This time, kick to the front. So this time we're working the hamstrings. It's a straight leg kick, and that's what's gonna make the hamstrings work. But if you want to, you can add some arm as well. So just punching forward as you do it. If it gets too much, you can tap down and just tap forward rather than lifting the leg. But if you can, nice big kick up to the ceiling. I'm sure some of you can kick really hard. My daughter's a cheerleader. She can kick really hard, far better than me. Keep it going, you're doing really well. Fantastic. You should also feel this in your glutes and in your hips as well. Excellent, nearly there. Don't forget to have a drink if you need, march it out. Okay, how are the legs feeling? All right? Good. Okay, your next one is gonna be a side squat. So here, so when you're ready, off you go. So just like we were squatting before, but this time we're stepping out to the side. Same position, come out and back like you're gonna sit in that chair. And if you wanna make this harder, you can turn it into a jump squat. You don't have to though, you can stay with the side squat. And if it gets too much, just tap it out to the side. Have a little break if you need, and then go back to the side squat when you're ready. Fabulous, well done, keep it up. As you bring yourself up, make sure you're not locking your knees out. Your knees need to stay nice and soft. That way you're not gonna injure yourself. Fantastic, nearly there, there we go, march it out. You're doing really, really well. So we're halfway through this set now. And your next exercise is gonna be a back step in lunge. So we're gonna step, lunge, in and back. So your range is up to you. If you can get a little lower, that's absolutely great. If you can't, that's fine. Just choose the range that's right for you. As you step back, make sure you're stepping wide and not with one foot behind the other, because otherwise you get a bit wobbly and you feel like you're gonna fall over. And a long enough step back so that you're going down and up and not forwards and backwards. So it's all about that range and all about that positioning. Excellent, well done, keep it up. Fantastic. Just a few more. Nearly there. The hands can stay still if you want. You don't have to move the arms around. Okay, march it out. Well done. Okay, we're gonna go with the elbow to the knee this time. So working the hips and the glutes again. So get that good position and off you go when you're ready. Fantastic. So you should feel the stretch all the way down the glutes and the hips as you bring it across and also working the obliques, which is the side parts of your core. So it's good for the core muscles as well, this exercise. Well done, keep it up. If you want to make it harder, you can go with a double. If you want to make it easier, just lift the knees rather than do the arms as well. Fantastic. Almost there. March it out. 
Well done. Don't forget, you can stop if you need to in between these exercises. You don't have to keep marching. But it's always good to keep your heart rate up. We don't want it to drop too low. Okay, your next exercise is a side lunge. So over to the side, tapping out and tapping back. Now it's different to the side squat because your inside leg is nice and straight and it's the outside knee that bends. If you want to make it harder, add a little stretch up with the arms as well. If you want to make it easier, don't go quite as big, just make it a smaller movement. Any of those options, however you're feeling right about now, is up to you. Fantastic, keep it going. And the beauty of doing this online is you can do it anywhere. You can do it in your bedroom, you can do it outside in the garden, as long as your Wi Fi is going to be But anywhere you like. Nearly there, last few. And march it out. So, last exercise in this section. We're doing really, really well. You should be really proud of yourselves. Fantastic job. Your last one is a curtsy squat. So just like you're meeting the queen or the king, you're gonna curtsy and come back. So one foot behind, and you should feel that in your quads. So it's nice and slow and controlled. Not like when we were doing the skater and we were swinging our arms. This is much more about making those muscles work rather than lifting the heart rate. If it's too much, just take it a little smaller. You don't have to do a full curtsy. You can just do a little bob. Fantastic. So just a few more left to do, and then we get a big break. So we're gonna have a minute off, we're gonna have a chance to drink, and then we're gonna go down to do the core in the mat. Well done. You should be really proud of yourselves. You've done really, really well. Fantastic. Quick drink, quick break. So grab a drink if you need one. Okay, so make sure you've had that little break. Make sure when you're doing these exercises, as I said at the beginning, that if it gets too much, you could just do the first section and the second section and then leave the core completely and come back to it at another time. Or you can actually power through and do the whole thing. Completely up to you how we do this. But the last section is gonna be core work. So you're gonna need your mat and you're gonna be lying down for some of it, but we're also gonna be on all fours for some of it as well. So lots of different exercises. We're gonna work all parts of the core. Your core is a big cylinder that goes around your tummy. Sometimes it's about the six pack, but not always. It's about the obliques as well, the lower part of the core and the upper part of the core. So that's what we're gonna work in this section. So take a lie down on your back. Nice flat back. If you find your back is arching, just tilt your pelvis back a little bit. You're gonna put your hands by your sides. And the first exercise is going to be a single leg switch. So just switching the feet side to side, tapping the toes down. If this is too easy for you, because you're very core strong, then rather than tapping down, let your feet hover over the floor and do it that way. But if it's too much, slow it right down and do the tap. Excellent, well done, keep it going. So all the time when we're doing core exercises, think about your tummy button and think about pulling it in to brace that part of your core. So you're gonna pull your tummy button into your spine to really brace. Excellent, we're gonna do four more. Three, two, 
one and then slowly let your legs go down. Extend up and have a little stretch and just release those core muscles. And then from this position, we're going to do a knee tap. So your opposite hand coming to the opposite knee. So tapping in and tapping back. Now if you can roll a little bit of your shoulders off the mat and do that. And if you want to make this more difficult, you can go for the shin tap and make it a little longer. Excellent, well done, keep it going. Fantastic. Really stretching up and trying to roll one shoulder off the mat as you do it. So you're crunching those oblique muscles, those side muscles. Four more. Excellent, well done. Extend and just stretch. And then bringing your knees back in, your hands by your side. We're going to do a hip bridge. So this exercise is really good for the glutes, for the hips, and also for your back as well. We're going to push through your heels, bring it up to the ceiling, and slowly lower down. So driving through your heels, squeezing your glutes as you come up. That's the cheeks of your bottom. It's the muscle that's there. Biggest muscle in the body as well. So really squeezing up and squeezing down. If it's too easy, don't let your bottom touch down on the mat and just come straight back up to keep tension in the exercise. If you want to, you can pulse at the top and then come back down to make it harder. So you can do three little pulses and then return. Or you can just keep with that single hip bridge. So four more. And relax back down, well done. Just give your body a little minute to settle down. And what we're going to do for the next three exercises, we're going to come over onto our fronts. So, nice and steady, just roll yourself up and over. Your hands are going to be underneath your shoulders. Your knees are going to be underneath your hips. So you're in a tabletop position. Now make sure you get this right opposite hand to the leg, because if you do both sides, you're just going to fall over. So you're going to reach, extend, and bring it back. This is called a superman. Or well, let's have superwoman in our case, shall we? Super girls. So nice big reach forward. Extend the leg. Extend the opposite arm. Fantastic. Keep going. So nice steady pace. If you want to make it harder, you can hold a bit longer at the top. Fantastic, keep going, we've got four more to do. Well done. Just bring yourself up, give your shoulders a roll, give yourself a little rest, just a little twist, just to release your back. And then we're gonna go back down in the same position. You're gonna bring your hands wide. Now, if I say press ups, I don't wanna put you off. So this is called a box press. And we're just gonna come down and up. Now options here, if you're super strong and you're good at press ups, you can bring your hands forwards and take more weight through your arms. If you're really hench, you can go up on your toes if you like. But I'm gonna stick with this. But you can bring your hands back into the box press and do it just here. Excellent, well done, keep going. You're doing really, really well. We've just got four more to do. And your last one. Excellent. Again, bring yourself up, give yourself a little stretch out. Got one more to do down here, and that's going to be an oblique mountain climber. So, put your hands back on these shoulders, and we're just going to tap across to the opposite elbow. So elbow, knee coming in, tapping side to side. Now you can speed this up if you want to, but it really is 
is just about getting slow control and twisting to get those obliques working. Four more. Excellent, well done. Fantastic job. Give your shoulders a little roll. Give yourself a little twist in the break. Grab a drink if you need one. We've just got three more exercises on our back to finish off. So quick drink, quick break if you need. Well done, okay. So lying back down, last few exercises. Hands on your thighs, nice flat back, brace that core again like we said. Slide up and slide down. So bringing your hands up to your knees, tuck your chin into your chest, and really reach as high as you can. If this is too easy for you, you can go for a triple pulse at the top. So three, two, one, and lower. Or you can just stay with that single slide up and down. Excellent, well done, keep it going. Two more. And then relax and release. Just have a little break. Two more exercises to go. And then we're done. We've done such a good job today. Well done. So last two exercises. First of all, we're going to extend the leg out and back. So it's a single leg extension. If it's too difficult, you can tap the foot down or you can just extend and bring it back. So this is going to work the lower part of the core. Take a break, of course, if you need to, because this one's quite intense. We're not going to do many. We're just going to do another four more. Last two. And then feet down, just a little rest, last exercise. Doing really well to get to the, all the end of this. So bring your arms up, and it's just an oblique crunch to the side. So head and shoulders and neck off the mat, and just crunching side to side. You should feel that in your obliques and your side muscles, stretching on one side, crunching on the other. Four more. Excellent, and we are done. Extend your arms, extend your legs. We're gonna just quickly stretch out and finish. We've done such a great job today. Well done for getting to the end. It's never easy exercising. It should always be challenging, and that's the most important thing. Bring your knees in, give yourself a big hug, and just release your spine and your core muscles. And then bring your feet to the ceiling, hold yourself behind your thighs and just pull your legs in until you feel the stretch in the hamstring at the back of the legs. And if you want to make that stretch harder, hands up to the ankles and pull in a little. Well done, bring yourselves up nice and steady, no rush to get to your feet, take your time. You feel a bit dizzy, just take it easy. So just a back stretch, elbows to your knees, push your lower back to the ceiling. And roll up through your spine. Big stretch to one side, just release those core muscles we've been working so hard at the side of your obliques. And then change to the other side. curl just to stretch out the front of the legs push your hips forwards as you step and curl just to get those quads stretched out excellent one arm in down and across stretch out your shoulder and change sides give your shoulders a big roll backwards 
bit more forwards. Listen, you've done so well today. I'm really, really proud of you. Fantastic work. If you want to do this one again, of course, you can access all of the exercises that we do online. Make sure that you remember to log in and do some more of the Big Sister Project classes. We move together and that's what it's all about. You can also access classes over at the Leisure Centre. And remember, there's swimming there as well and also uh, gym time that you can use. And if you want to do that, get in touch with your local leisure centre. My name's Cathy, it's been an absolute pleasure. If you've got anything you ever want to talk about, get in touch. We're all here for you. We all want to be strong together as women. And make sure that you keep it up, keep going, because it's really important. At the leisure centres as well, we've got all kinds of period products. If you find you can't access those, you can just pop into the leisure centre and get them. Absolutely, everything's there for you. But well done, you've done such a great job today. Give yourself another round of applause.